I'm after uh, some bits of my Jeep. I've got a 1945 Willys Jeep. It's in very good order, but I've got a couple of problems with it. And I'm told that you're the man in California that's got everything that I would need. The first problem I've got is the transmission. Would you have one of those? Yeah, I got one down there. Let's it's, have a look. It's rebuilt because you can't get a brand new one anymore. You can't? No. So what, these come in from, the, these are old ones that you take apart, rebuild yourself here? Yeah. Is this it? Yep, that's Look it. Look at the size of that. Oh, God. It's, oh, it's heavy. It looks, well, it looks brand new, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It's heavy. Um, so that's a good one then. That's going to start and be perfect in yep. every gear. Yeah. Okay. Well, I like the look of that. It's fantastic. How much is it? Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred bucks. Yep. It's all right, isn't it? Not yeah. bad at all. So we I couldn't pass up the opportunity to sniff around Mike's place to see if I can find the gold that would end up adding value to our Jeep back home. Is there anything else that I can add to my Jeep to give it authenticity, to make it more collectible? Take a look over here. First aid kit. Oh, first aid kit. That's lovely. Bracket. Oh, that's nice. Look at that, all original as well. Don't tell me it's got bits inside it, has it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, it's brilliant. It's got cream sunburn preventative, which is exactly what I need today, and some field dressing. And that's the kind of stuff that gives it authenticity, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. The transmission at $900 and the first aid kit at 150 bucks is less than half what I'd spend in the UK. And Mike even has a set of wipers for $100. Bargain. Hold out your hand. Yes, got yourself a deal. <laughs>